Hi people, this is Chanda Zimba, your chemistry tutor from Eagles Concept Academy. Just trying to show you how to best handle some exam questions. So stay tuned and enjoy. Hi everybody, I'm sure you're okay. Uh, so today we are not looking at any topic in particular. Uh, forget about the smaller board there, uh, it's just uh, there for some other things. But uh, today I just want us to revise uh, one multiple choice question, which is uh, from Science Paper 2016 for the internals. So section A, question one. So this question is a very, very lovely question. So I'm not even going to write the multiple choice because you're going to choose the answer yourselves when the explanation is done. But this question, had interesting concepts. It had concepts of endothermic reactions. It had concepts of the changes of state. It also had concepts of uh, exothermic reactions. So it's a combination of all these concepts that we are seeing here. So I'll try and explain these concepts as we are answering these questions. Then you are going to give me the final answer yourselves. Okay, yeah, so no spoon feeding. Okay, uh, but we'll make sure we'll feed you whatever you're supposed to be fed with. So, uh, the question reads, the diagram below shows the changes of state. So here are the changes of state. We know the three states of matter, liquid, uh, solid, liquid, and the gas, and how they change from each other. And from the previous lessons, you can remember that we said uh, what causes matter to change from one state to another is the application of heat or the removal of heat. Okay, so now, just uh, for a reminder, when you look at uh, endothermic reactions, so endothermic reactions, are reactions in which heat is taken from the environment into the system okay so endo means into so endothermic reactions are reactions in which heat is taken from the surrounding and into the reaction system okay then exothermic reactions are the opposite these are types of reactions in which heat is produced meaning the removal of heat that particular thing is removing heat to the outside Okay, so those are the differences. So you can even see, because endothermic reactions, heat is taken into the system, it means that the temperature of the system will increase. This one is losing, so the temperature will do it, will decrease. Okay, then the aspect of changes of states of matter, I'm sure you remember them. So now, here they are asking us, which of the following sets of changes are exothermic? So let's just uh, categorize them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, let's explain and see uh, which answer it gives us. So now, they are saying, uh, number one, this one is change of state from solid to liquid. So from solid to liquid, the only thing that can change is heat was being applied to the solid. So the solid was taking in what? Uh, the heat energy. That's why it changed to the solid. So meaning, number one here, this one is an endo thermic reaction okay let's look at number two number two from liquid to solid the only time you see when you put a liquid in the in the fridge meaning it will be losing heat and then it will turn solid like water turning to ice so this liquid now is losing heat so losing heat this is giving heat to the outside producing heat and that defines it exothermic reaction so number two is an exothermic reaction okay how about number three? So number three, this is liquid to gas, which is evaporation. So meaning heat was being added. So the liquid now here is actually uh, taking in the heat. So taking in heat, that is endothermic. So we have an endothermic reaction. Then the fourth one, now that is from gas to a liquid condensing. So a gas condensing back to a liquid. So condensation. You are removing some. So the gas here is the one that is losing heat. So number four is actually an exothermic reaction. Okay. So uh, we check uh, number five. So number five here is from solid to uh, solid to gas. Okay. Direct change from solid to gas. So it means this gas was rapidly heated. Uh, rapidly heated. That's why it had to sublime. So this is sublimation to a gas there. So sublimation, it was taking in. So that is an endo. So, taking in is the end of. Then, last but not the least, uh, number six, we have 
uh, from gas to solid without turning into liquid first. So gas to solid, that is deposition. So deposition is when you are rapidly cooling a gas. So cooling a gas, it means the gas is producing heat. It's losing heat. So a reaction in which heat is given to the surrounding is known as exothermic. So we are going to have an exothermic reaction. So we can now summarize by categorizing them. So we are going to put the endothermic ones first. So the endothermic reactions here, we have number one, which is endo. Then we have number three. And we also have, so number one, uh, number three, and number five. So one, three, five. That is endo. Then when you talk about exothermic, exothermic reactions, we have two, four, and six. So we all have access to past papers. You were showed where to download from the ECZ website there you can download check for this question the analysis has been done for you i need the correct answer by the end of the day thank you so much tune next